Okay, so let's start. Um, this is lesson two. <coughs> um, excuse me, amino dissociation precipitation. Now, we the example one is to set up as if you are doing a, a batch um, reactor experiment with some calcite grains in the solution, and you're trying to. Um, your 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 essentially will be running numerical um, experiments, imagining that your rates rate calcite dissolution rates are in this um, like these given numbers. You have how much um, um, calcite grain in the system, etc. So here, let's see. Um, for this unit, for this lesson. The difference between the, this one, previous one, in lesson one is lesson one only have aqueous complexation, so it doesn't have any kinetics. It only have thermodynamics. That one is zero space dimension and also no time dimension. Now here, by introducing the reaction kinetics, we are essentially also we are essentially now looking at the time dimension. We still have a well mixed system, which is a zero dimension system. We are not looking at things change in the function space. So you have uniform contribution in the batch reactor. So that's a major difference. Um, let's read the example question, and then I would explain a little bit, and we can try to set it up in the uh, in crunch flow. Okay, so example one is about a calcite dissolution. Calcite dissolution proceeds through parallel pathways as shown in reaction one to three. That's what we have we we see in uh, lesson two. Um, in addition to these kinetic reactions, there are also a series of instantaneous aqueous reactions or aqueous complexation reactions um, at occur at the same time. The so three fast reactions. Um, should be the same as the ones in example two of lesson one. Oh, so these fast that that's for these fast reactions, um, the aqueous speciation reaction. So this essentially specify what aqueous speciation reaction you should include in this example. Now in batch reactors, the initial solution is at a pH five point zero, with close to zero salinity. Meaning it's it's not a concentrated um, solution. The initial total carbon concentration is three point one five times ten to minus four more per kilogram water. Kinetic rate constant for three parallel reactions are um, one point zero zero times ten to minus two, five point six two times times ten to minus six, and then the other number. This is for the corresponding three reactions in one, two, three. Um, and then the volume fraction of the calcite grains in the batch reactor is 0.5%. So if you have 100 milliliter, then you have 0.5 milliliter of calcite. You can, you can convert that to how much mass is this with a specific surface area of 0.25 meter square per gram. Please set up the simulation and plot the following qu quantities as a function of time. So now we're looking at the time dimension, right? We're starting from initial condition. So initially, you you have some total carbon concentration there, um, three point one five times ten times ten to minus four more per kilogram. But essentially, you don't have other species. Now the question is asking you first of all. Um, the so total calcium concentration and total inorganic carbon. So you need to plot that as a function of time. Second with the individual calcium containing species and carbon species. And so here you want to see essentially you're asking which one the dominant species and everything. And then also the pH and IAP over KQ, which is a saturation index. Make it more explicit. Okay, so let's do this. Um, let's go to that folder again. 
Okay, again, so I have four files here waiting for you. Um, let's open the input file. Oh, I hate it when... Let's do it in Notepad. I don't like all these red line and everything underlying all my words. Let's open it with Notepad. Okay. Much better. Alright, so this is is a temporary essentially and we need to fill in. Okay, so this let's say title would be less than two. Kelsai distribution in a batch reactor. These runtime specification is still there. Um, database, make sure it's datacom.dbs and everything. Okay, so here make sure you don't do species only because when you do species only, the the time is not going to be stepped and you cannot do this calculation because this is for kinetic and you will need time stepping. Um, output file. So output procure block, we need to specify what we want the system to output. So um, first of all, we need to specify what units are we using. Let's do second. We know cause that distribution really fast. Or maybe minutes. Let's do minutes. And um, Let's call it time. We need to specify time series. And let's call that call site distribution dot out. And for batch reactor, we should only have one group box. So let's just specify this is a the group block one. Time series print. So what time series print do is you specify what species you want to print. So you can put a specific for them casium, um, and this need to be the. I'm just kind of uh, make it expert needs to be primary species, it cannot output time set for secondary species. So you can specify it's calcium or pH or bicarbonate, but it's very important that um, maybe we do all. If you specify all, meaning all species, all primary species will be printed out. Discretization. Uh, we should only have one species, right? So that's first we need to specify the units, distance units. Let's say it's meters. And then um, when you need to specify kind of zones, x zones, y zones, so you have x zone should be 1.1. So you only have one grid box. Now for the other dimensions, it will make it, uh, if you only specify one, so this essentially you have, one meter, one meter, one meter. If you don't specify other, it will 
assume it's it's um, meter, the same units, and it's it's one quantity is one. So it's you essentially you have like one meter cube. Maybe we'll make it centimeters to be more realistic, and you have. You have 10.0. It shouldn't matter because we are specifying volume fraction, not a specific number. But to be, um, so if I'm specifying, maybe I would do 100. So because a, a, a typical batch or a flux or something that you do batch directly is about in hundreds of, uh, hundreds of milliliters. So I'm specifying here, this is 200 centimeter cube essentially. The other two dimension, y direction and z direction, it will, by default it will be one centimeter, one centimeter, so it's, it should be 200 centimeter cube. Essentially 200 um, milliliter. That's a discretization. Now we actually also need in the output, we need to specify How long we want this to run? Spatial profile. So maybe we we'll do, let's say, one minute, and then um, maybe twenty minutes, ten minutes. Okay. Maybe ten minutes. is all pretty fast. Let's say it's 5.0, 10.0, 50.0. All right. So we run for 100 minutes. That's the end point of time. So the simulation will be run until 100 minutes. Now we don't have spatial just because I say we don't have we only have one grid block. It's a well mixed system, so we don't need to specify. We don't have something coming from the boundary. So it should be fine. So let's specify initial condition should be whatever condition we specify. So let's do it later. We don't have transport. We can almost safely delete that. We also don't have flow. We don't have process. We cannot delete all that. So the primary species you want to put in, we talked about before. Um, you should have casium. First of all, you all we need H plus actually. Um, what else you need? Let me look at the question again. Um, let's put a bit of s sodium chloride right there, just make in case we need to make charge balanced, we can use sodium chloride. So usually you use uh, species that are not reactive to make it to, 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 to do charge balance. Otherwise, you will be changing the concentration of important species. What else? Um, we need bicarbonate species. Let's like, still use bicarbonate. That should be it for primary species. Second species, um, 
Again, OH minus will be the top one. Um, all the other carb carbon is species AQ, CO3. Um, potentially with this, we could form CaOH plus. That's another aqueous species. You can check by doing speciation only. Um, by data sweeping or something to see if which species will be dominating if you would like. Potential calcium carbon will also form aqueous calcium carbonate. And uh, if we have chloride, possibly you would also have that. Okay, I think that's good for our second species, I believe. Okay, so for this one, we need initial condition because the, the, the system started with this is where t equal to 0. So let's call that condition initial and you will need all the prime you need to specify all the primary species so I'm copy the list of primary species here so the question says initial pH is 5.0 So let's specify pH will be 5.0 first instead of saying H plus as to 5.0. So initial calcium concentration should be almost zero. Now usually we I try not to put directly zero there because sometimes computers have problem with zero, and I always put a very small number there just in case. So for it's very small, essentially none. I'm putting very these ten to minus ten concentrations. All right. But carbon is a could. Uh, the question said initially is three point one five times ten to minus four. Okay, this is what you put it there. That's a total concentration essentially, not specific. And question says total common country, so that's consistent. Now here we also have um, in the in the solution we should also have calcite because calcite need to dissolve out. So we need to have the calcite mineral. This is important because um, otherwise there would be no representation of calcite um, green there. So let's put uh, calcite. And it says volume fraction 0.05%. So the first number should be the uh, volume fraction, and then it also says a specific surface. The keyword is specific surface area is 0 0.25. So let me just comment on that. Um, the first number, volume fraction is 0 0.05 um, SSA 
is 0.24 meter square per gram. So that's a unit. You can also specify total surface area, I believe. Let me just uh, search the menu. I believe you can do, it should be similar. Oh, you can specify bulk surface area or specific surface area. If it's bulk surface, you will be putting the absolute value. If it's specific surface area, it should be in the units meter square per uh, gram. So it's the typical the way you're putting is name of solid face, volume fraction, surface area option, and value. Bulk surface area. So you can look through this if you would like to have more details going to page 6869 in the menu. All right. Now we cannot put in the green size, but the surface is a uh, specific surface is more or less refracting the green size. You have when you have small grains, you tend to have larger specific surface area. Um, when you have larger grain, you have small specific surface area. Um, but also, of course, for different minerals, they are also different. OK, so the initial condition. But one thing we keeping we need to keep in mind is that um, the, the, the solid phase need to be recognized by the mineral keyword block. This is where you put in the kinetic information. Without that, uh, you can. You, uh, you will either use the kinetic information in the gray block or in the database, which I usually prefer to put in input file because then you have everything in the same place. So um, here you will need to put in the rate constants in the log 10 units. This rates should be in log 10 rates in units of more per meter square per second. All right. So the way you put in is calcite and then you have the label if it's, let's say you are saying default. Then your rate is okay. Let's just let me just check um, the three reaction pathways. We are saying for calcite, you have these three reactions. So you have K one, K two, and K three. They all have the same. So why is K1 depends on H plus, K2 depends on H2CO3, K3 is, there's no dependence. So let's just also check the database. Save it, and let's look at database. Make sure the default and everything. Make sure we know what are the format for each label. Search for calcite. Okay. So this is a TST rate law. Default is okay. H plus one is on one that depends on H plus. So that's K one. Right, so let's say label. So you need to kind of look back and forth a bit. So let's do H plus first. And I said the rate constant is what?
1 times 10 to minus 2 for 3 for k1, okay, for the h plus dependence one. So this one is in units of more per meter square per second. This one should be minus 2. And then you have the Kelsen second one with the Let's call it a CO2, so it's less confusing. Let's call it a CO2 dependence. And it's dependent on this with 1.0. So this dependence need to specify it in the database, but not the one um, So I probably should say H2 CO3. And then default is one without any dependence. Okay, so if we specify the number here, okay, so that will be CO two. Okay, and then rate. So the second the rate constant is five point six six two times ten to minus six in log unit. 5.62 Okay, 10, 10 to minus 6, minus 6 So it's 5.25 Alright And then the default one is without dependence is 7.24 times 10 to minus so 7 point minus 9 8 point minus 8.14 for the three parallel Reactions one, two, and three. Okay, so now, so these rate constants should be overwrite whatever that is in the uh, in the database. Okay, you have condition. Let's just check it. You have condition. You have mineral specified with with kinetics. You have primary second species. Okay, you need to specify what are the initial condition. So you should have say um, the, the initial condition initial. We call it yeah, we call that initial. So this condition would be in the first grid block. You will only have one grid block. This is specify um, the location and. Uh, You can dig into menu for them, search for these keyword block and and the menu explain in detail what you need to put what you can put in. So here is this initial condition is essentially saying, okay, I'm using this initial condition for um this grid block one. Let's see if they run. I think we should. Unless we made a mistake somewhere. Two lesson example one. Oh. Weight label. Can any will not find in a database looking for calcite rate label CO two?
Hmm, interesting. Maybe I didn't save it. Okay, let's do it again. I just saved it. To lesson example. Now it runs. There's something else coming up. So the other time I changed it, the need how to CO2, but I didn't save it. So um, the code doesn't recognize recognize the CO2 label. So I saved the database with the CO2. Then the code not recognize that um, label. And then now is speciation. Okay, so it uh, speciation is finished. No aqueous kinetic block found. Retardation probably not found. Both the number of cells and the gray block spacing should be. Oh, okay. Only one value provided. Let's see. I think that's in the problem with discretization. So I need to provide. Let's go to just make sure we decretization key we block. X and Y zone, Z zone. Please, please, please. OK. At discretization, you can specify X zone, Z zone, Y zone. So the syntax is you specify X, X zone and it's how many number of cells and the spacing. OK. A number of cells should be integer, and spacing is a real number. So we are saying we have one grid block, and uh, the spacing is it's it's two hundred centimeter. I think that should give, make it work. Let's try it again. So I just look it up and uh, do it again. All right, so it runs. It's finished. That's good. OK. And you suddenly you discover there are a lot of output files. You know, each of these output files, you have, you have for each of these, these are all out, right? So you have each of these, if we can, you have every one, every two, every three, four, five. Each of these is corresponding to one of these times that you specified in the spatial profile. Remember in spatial profile, you I put one point one minute, so it's spit out the um, output at one minute, uh, one minute, five minutes, ten minutes, fifteen minutes, and hundred minutes. So the one will be representing one minute, two will be five in this. So each of these have five, right? Isotope have this five, concentration have five. Gas, mineral percentage because you have mineral, pH, porosity, a lot of information. Okay, these are like a standard outputs. Some of them are not um, useful for this example, but I'm kind of want to. Let's go through. So in order to answer the question, let's see. Um, you need you you need you want to print plot everything in the functional time. All these other areas, like area one to five, because we only have one grid block, so the spatial profile is not really useful for us. If we have a hundred grid block, we want to see how this is very spatial, uh, very spatially. Now you only have one grid block, so it's not really interesting. It's more interesting to look at that as a function of time, and we specified the breakthrough curve. Should be in a, okay calcite dissolution that out. So let's look at that file. This will be what you um, should look for for the breakthrough calcite. This okay. This would. So we we said essentially output everything right. Okay.
So again, first, it's time stepping very, with very tiny time steps, you know, and then um, later it becomes more larger time step because it's kind of approaching to equilibrium. Now look, so you have pH, you have H plus, calcium, sodium, chloride, all is a function of time. We said all, so it also spit out sodium chloride, but we actually don't really need that. But why? Okay, we also should have, okay. Hmm, interesting. Bicarbonate H plus CO2 AQ CO3 calcium. So it actually did does spit out all the aqueous speciation as well. And these are in negative values, these are in actually in log units. For the primary species, it's in absolute value, it's not log. For the um, second species, they are in log, in log. So this it would be 10 to the minus 8.99, 10 to the minus 3.52, 10 to the minus 9.5, for example. So it should be increasing. So you actually can directly read if you want <coughs> to plot in Excel. You can either do MATLAB, Excel, whichever way that is easiest for you. Let me just show you how to open that in Excel, so if that's easiest for you. I'm opening up Excel, and I will say open. Oh, there's no okay, sorry. Okay, let's do this one. Let's see. How. Okay. So you would say so the code I can actually fix the width. It will space out for this. Okay, so you have all the different species, pH, H plus, pH. So you can plot whichever that I asked for. You can plot primary species. Pay attention that the same. Okay, so this also give the calcium in the log units. So this is indiv this is these are individual species, and these are the total for the primary species. So if you want to plot a primary species, um, like the individual species, you do want to use this column starting from H plus here when it has a log after it's already been logged. So this is how you can do, for example, um, getting out of the, all the time series and plot out the files. Um, so that's examples you can see change all the change in the function of time, how the situation change in function of time. So here I'm giving you the solution already, but you want to be able to generate that by yourself. I want to be able to see that. And you shouldn't just um before you do anything, you shouldn't look at this solution yet. But I'm I'm, I'm still telling you um here these solutions okay for um for the individual concentrations, okay, these are total calcium, total bicam, so it should be from the first several columns on primary species. And you can see the carbon is always higher than calcium because initially there are some carbon species there. So if you look carefully, the difference is actually exactly the initial concentration of carbonate because essentially the calcium, when calcium dissolves, it should be dissolving um, calcium and total carbon in one in one to one stoichiometric coefficient. When the calcium dissolves, 
pH increases over time until it reaches around 8, so its concentration reaches certain value is stopped because they should reach equilibrium. I, IEP over KQ get to about 1, which is at equilibrium at about 120 or 130 minutes, which is similar to um, where concentration reached, um, equi uh, reached like a plateau. And looking at the individual concentrations, um, so this is a bit hard to see. Total calcium should be the highest. And blue is, so the free calcium is, is a dominant species. And then this light blue is CA bicarbonate. So calcium bicarbonate is the second one. Red one is CaCO3. And then you have COH plus, which is reasonable because you have a lot of carbon species in the system. So that should give you kind of give you a, a sense of how you do with mineral dissolution precipitation. And in the extension, as an extension of the example one, um, in the homework assignment, I asked you to do the calcite dissolution, carbon dissolution, changing several key parameters, essentially. You, example one did did all this in, in one particular condition, but we all know in, in the lessons we discussed rate constant is important, surface area is important, pH, initial pH, salinity, all these things are, are, are important. So how do they change the dissolution process if we change these numbers? So in every question of this, I ask you to change these numbers and uh, compare um, three different cases in terms of um, how things um, are different with different sets of parameters. And then the question one is about the false bar distribution. So in, in example one, I give you everything about calcite. In, in question two, you are supposed to calculate um, to, to set up false bar distribution using the figures, figure 7 in Blum's and Stilling with like the, the rate dependence on H plus or H minus or the neutral one without any pH dependence. And you should be able to set it up to run these simulations. All right, I think I'm going to stop here. And I hope you have fun explaining with uh, crunch flow in setting up mineral dissolution precipitation. Um, again, this is in batch reactor. So imagine that you are doing a, a numerical experiment of the of the batch reactor, and you are putting uh, calcite grains, different green size. So you have larger, smaller, specific surface area, and all that. Okay, I'm going to stop by, and I hope you have fun here. Um, and uh, we can discuss later if you have questions. Okay.